Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on Smith chart. This video, I'm going to explain how can we actually add a series L or C component onto the Smith chart. So this will be the objective of this video. This is a part three series discussion on Smith chart. The earlier on series discussion on Smith chart, I have put the playlist under the description. So please take a look on those video if you're keen to know more about Smith chart. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Guys, once again, please feel free to comment. For example, how can I improve my delivery so that the overall standard of this channel can be improved greatly? Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. Okay, let's start by doing the first example on the Smith chart. Okay, before we discuss on adding series L or C onto the Smith chart, let's start okay, by a little step, how to plot all the points onto the Smith chart. Over here, you can see that we have four points that are required to be plotted onto the Smith chart. So the first thing that we're supposed to do is we need to normalize them. Typically, we need to normalize to 50 ohm before we can start to plot the points onto the Smith chart. Okay, so these are the four points that are require us to plot them all on the Smith chart. So the first thing we need to do is we normalize. So over here, you can see that what we need to do is basically all the points just divide by 50. Okay, for example, 90 divided by 50, I get actually 1.8. Okay, 30 divided by 50, 0 0.6. 20 divided by 50, which is 0 0.4. So I have all these four points which is actually normalized to 50 ohm. So now I'm ready to plot all these four points onto the Smith chart. Okay, I will go slow, step by step, so that you are able to follow me. Okay, first thing, what I suppose to plot onto the Smith chart will be 1.8 plus J0. Okay, over here, I can see that since that it is just only the resistivity value, there is no reactance value. So therefore, I know that they will actually happen onto this receptivity line here. So over here, I look hard on the numbers. Okay, over here, you can see that uh, this 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8. So here, uh, M. So I actually plot the first point, which is 1.8 plus or minus J0 here. Okay, so this is the first point that I actually plot onto the Smith chart. Next, okay, I need to plot this point onto the Smith chart, which is 0 0.6 plus J0.4. Okay, again, this point here, I will be looking hard at the receptivity line. Okay, so I need to search for 0 0.6. So over here is 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and here am I, 0 0.6. Okay, so I know this is 0 0.6. So next, okay, I look over here. So this is plus, so I know that it will be above the receptivity line. So, yeah, so I need to find 0 0.4. So how can I actually find 0 0.4? So over here, you can see that this is 0 0.6. I draw this and I need to look at all the different arc here. So basically, you can see over here, take a close look. Okay, I think you will have a, this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.4. So this 0 0.4 and the 0 0.6, the intercept point will give us 0 0.6 plus J04. Okay, since this is plus, so I know that it will be a, above the receptivity line and therefore I actually indicate at this point here which is equal to 0 0.6 plus J04 here. Okay so next I'm ready to draw the third point okay, which is 0 0.8 minus J1.6. Again the key thing I need to draw will be on 0 0.8 first. So let's start. Uh. So 0 0.8 how should I draw? Okay so I find where's the point of 0 0.8. So again from here you can see 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is the point of 0 0.8. So I draw this thing here. So next, since this is a minus, okay, I know that it will be below the receptivity line. Okay, again, you can actually look at all the different art here. So you can see over here, this is 1, okay, 1.2, 1.4, and here I mean 1.6. So basically what I need to draw is 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.
intersect with the 1.6. Okay, so this point will be the point that will be at 0 0.8 minus J1.6. Okay, so easy. So remember this. Okay, I always like to highlight if it's a positive, okay, it will happen above the vicinity line. If it's a negative, for example, for this case, it will happen at the bottom of the receptivity line. And last but not least, okay, let's do this question here, which is 0 plus J 0 0.3. Okay, so if it's a 0 point, okay, I know that it will be on the extreme left-hand side. Okay, remember, this is a short circuit. Okay, so if you cannot remember, please look at the Smith chart part 2 series discussion. So this is zero point, and what I need to do is basically I need to find the zero point three, so zero point one, zero point two, zero point three, and here am I the point here which is zero plus j zero point three. Okay, so with this, okay, uh, this is basically a very simple example how to plot this all the four points onto the Smith chart. First thing you need to do is basically you need to normalize them. So after you normalize them, then you are ready to draw all the points onto the Smith chart. Okay, so hopefully this gives you a very clear indicative example. For example, the first point is only purely receptivity line. Okay, so the second point is basically will be above the receptivity line because it's a plus term here. The third term here will be below the receptivity line because it's a minus J component. And the last component here is basically the reactance. Okay, sorry, the receptivity is zero and we only have only the reactance, which is 0 0.3, and therefore you have this point over here. Okay, so hopefully this is a very clear example how to plot all the points onto the Smith chart. So next, okay, coming back to the example two, okay, we need to do this slightly harder. Okay, so what I need to do is basically I have this impedance, okay, which is 0 0.3 plus J 1.0. Okay, so what will be the final impedance after I add a series capacitor minus J1.8 into it? So in short, this is the original impedance I have. So what I need to add in is basically I add in a series capacitor over here that look like this. So in terms of calculation, it's quite clear. Okay, so what I need to do is since this is all the reactants, okay, I combine this reactant together and therefore I know the outcome or the resultant will be minus J0.8. Okay, but in terms of Smith chart, okay, maybe I'll say that it will be much, much slightly difficult to understand or maybe difficult to, to do this step okay, compared to the mathematical way, which is quite clear cut. Okay, because this is inductor, this is a capacitor. So what I need to do is I combine the effect of these two reactants together. And in the outcome, I actually has the capacitor effect okay, of 0 0.8. Okay, so how can we actually do this onto the Smith chart? Okay, for example, I guess that you know how I actually can plot this point. Okay, for example, I need to plot this 0 0.3 plus J1.0. Remember, okay, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, I look at the resistivity line. Okay, I find the 0 0.3. Next, since this is a positive, I know that it will be above the resistivity line. So next, I need to find the value 1. So over here is the 1. So basically, the two points that they intersect will be the point 0 0.3 plus J1.0. So now what happened here is basically I add a series capacitor onto this impedance. So what will be the outcome? Okay, so I know that it will be a series capacitor. And if you still remember what we have discussed on part two, okay, so series capacitor, okay, they will move this way. So from here, you can see that series capacitor, I need to move down anti-clockwise. So I have this, I need, to move down and anti-clockwise. How much to move? I need to move by 1.8. Okay, so over here, I will be moving one. Okay, after that, I will be moving another 0 0.8. So therefore, over here, I know that the final outcome will be 0 0.3 minus J 0 0.8, which is illustrated as the mathematical way. Okay, so hopefully this is clear. So basically what you need to do, okay, you need to refer to this chart, okay, whether is it, series C or series L depend on the outcome. So you basically need to adjust it accordingly. So for example, for this case here, initially I have an impedance of 0 0.3 plus J 1.0. I need to add in a series capacitor. So with series capacitor, I know that I need to move down anti-clockwise by the value of the capacitor 1.8. So I know that I need to move 1.8 
So the final outcome, I'm actually at this point, which is 0 0.3 minus J 0 0.8, which is the same as the mathematical way that I've calculated earlier on. Okay, so this is the example two, adding a series capacitor onto an impedance. Next, let's move on to example three. Okay, again, I'm given the Z value here. Okay, so the what happened here is basically I have this impedance. I actually add in a series inductor of 0 0.9 onto it. So what will be the outcome? So over here, you can see that basically this is a resistor 0 0.5. Okay, they have the reactance of minus J 0 0.7 here. So what I need to do is I introduce a series inductor onto here. So the final outcome, you can clearly see that it will be a inductive effect with a plus j 0 0.2 okay because this is 0 0.7 this is 0 0.9 0 0.9 is bigger so therefore the outcome i left is j 0 0.2 okay so how am i going to do this onto the smith chart again let's just start by plotting this point okay so 0 0.5 minus j 0 0.7 okay let's focus on the point 0 0.5 again based on the resistivity line okay i find where is the 0 0.5 is here Okay, so next, okay, I know that this is minus. I know that it will be underneath the resistivity line. So I go and find the term 0 0.7. Okay, you may not be able to see this 0 0.7. Okay, but you can imagine this is actually a 0 0.7 here. So therefore, the intercept of 0 0.5 and 0 0.7, that will give me the point of 0 0.5 minus J 0 0.7 here. Okay, so next, I actually introduce a series inductor so over here let's take a look okay series inductor you can see that okay basically the outcome okay will be moving up clockwise direction okay so basically this is what i mean series inductor i need to move up in a clockwise direction okay so again i'm ready to draw the outcome so this is the point i need to move up and then i need to move in a clockwise direction how much to move will be 0 0.9 okay remember this is 0 0.7 what I need to move is I just need to move another 0 0.2 more. So therefore, this will be my outcome, okay, which is 0 0.5 plus J 0 0.2, which is the same as how I actually calculate in a mathematical way. So with this, I hope you are more clear how can we actually use Smith charts okay, to add a series L or series C. In short, the outcome basically fall on this table here. So at this particular video, I just only emphasize on series. The next video, I will emphasize on shunt. So based on a series, if you add in a series inductor, you need to move up in a clockwise direction. And if you introduce a series capacitor, you need to move down and in an anti-clockwise. So basically, this is the objective of this video. How can we actually introduce a series component L or C onto a impedance characteristics? With this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. See you guys.